Help yourself to further selection of paranoia-inducing tablets. Help yourself to cooking fat for disgusting sex experiments. Help yourself to plethora of sadistic pod culture got max. Help yourself to bottle of filthy sedimented antique wine. Help yourself to nutrition-free jam, cobalt, fruit and veg. Help yourself to slow death obesity and stationary for suicide missive. Help yourself. Help yourself to identity deleting software. Help yourself to morsel of disappointment. Peace. Hello, I'm Tim Leopard and welcome to my world of pain. I'll tell you who I can't stand. It's that fucking Yoda, right? God, who does he think he is? I'll tell you what, it's just like... He gets on my nerves. I was just like, I'll try and get on with the bloke. I don't like it. I was just like, you know, I was down the pub the other day and he's going like, too much to drink you've had. Fuck off, you should. It's just like, A, you talk backwards to get laid and no women fancy you. B, you look like the Incredible Hulk's nuts that all withered and dissipated with hair spraying out on it. And it's just like, I'm sorry, mate. You know, you're filling my kid's head with the force and all that, pony. It's like... jumped up, bumptious little bloody dwarf. I it makes me fucking sick. It's just like him, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Obi-Wan Kenobend. The original one was fresh. Um, it was dangerous, uh, it was innovative, and uh, the second one was just an absolutely mindless rehash by the numbers kind of uh, remake. You can't improve on the original. The original is still the best. No, don't bother with Pointless Remake 2. Just have a look at the original Pointless Remake. Much better than Pointless Remake 2. Uh, I don't know, I don't even know what I'm talking about here. The last film I saw was um, uh, Big Tit Suck Off. Um, I can't remember what that was about. It was about... What was it about? Oh, I don't know, it was about an hour and a half. Basically, I've got this contract to work on this, well, it's a military thing. It's a big development program, you know, and they're, like, they're turning up to work, and they nicked the bloody plans of the thing, and then they blew it up. Don't half get on my tit ends, I'll tell you what, you know, I've had a bloody awful time at work this week, you know. I was trying to, trying to get Luke to come in and follow me into that. He couldn't be less interested in the dark side of the force. He's just like, I don't know what's the matter with him. He's just like, <sighs> his sister's no better. You know, like, she's bloody nicked the plans to the thing. Oh, the blueprints to the bloody thing. She's give me a load of old bum gas about how she hasn't got it. Oh, I got her in the bloody... I tried the mind probe on her, because uh, face facts, kids today, you don't, you want to know what's going on in their heads, you've got to probe their minds, and I've always found the mind probe quite a, a good way of probing minds. Oh, oh God, she's like, she's doing my Sweden. I don't know, kids today, they don't know they're bloody born. Help yourself to mind drop pastry, frozen pus chunks, atrophy genitals, and a slap in the guts from a bastard. Help yourself to panacea of lavatory culture bliss. Help yourself, help yourself to shrivel and sniff. Help yourself. One problem that I do have with her is um, I feel like we don't know enough about her. Um, it's all very well trying to cultivate a uh, Garbo-style mystique. Um, but, you know, people are hungry for details. People want gossip and people basically at the end of the day want information. We don't know anything about this woman. <sighs> you know, what does she get up to at the weekends? What does she get up to in her private life? Does she even have a private life? Has she got a boyfriend? There's whispers on the internet that those breasts aren't even real. Come on, we've got to know this stuff. Without facts like that and without that kind of information, I've got to say, my life is essentially valueless and completely and utterly worthless. So come on, Katie, don't be shy. Spill the beans.